So what am I going to report on this video? Alton Towers result have officially announced the world of David Williams opening in spring 2020. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Longstable on both Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News room update from the Alton Towers Resort. They've announced their brand new 2020 edition and more details are set to come next year. So before we get started, we have some shout outs. So big shout outs go to Stubwood, Random Blake, Brian Galeas, Cray Cray for Coasters and Pokemon Ash Vlogs. If you want a shout out in our next video, Comment down below and I will give you your shout out. Make sure you go check out our videos over the past few days. Of course, we've got an update that we filmed just and uploaded yesterday from Europa Park um, on some rumoured details on the possible Euro Mir refurbishment, as well as the location of their next coaster development. So make sure you go check out that news update. We've got videos that have gone on over the past week from York Maze Island Scream, Serengeti Park, and much, much more. So this news broke literally as soon as I woke up this morning uh, and I saw the, article, the, the first couple of articles and, it bro and the news broke. I reported it on the community post on the channel, I reported it on Facebook, I reported it on Instagram. Uh, still yet to do it on Twitter, but um, I don't think I really do Twitter with Coach Chan and stuff like that anymore. So um, Twitter's just like a, a general thing, I guess. Um, but on all the social media platforms for Coach Chow, and sort of reporting stuff from Ghost Shell, I reported on this. And this is the world of David Wallian. So all that construction around House of Monsters, Wobble World site, has all come to this. It's not going to be just one attraction in the area. It's going to be a full area re-theme. Cloud Cookerland will depart at the end of the season, ready for work on the world of David Walliams. Now, of course, this one was the least... Uh, well, not want to say the least... Popular. I'm not going to say that because it was a very popular IP uh, rumour uh, in the past. But this project is two years in the making. So this project has been going on for two years. Uh, working closer with the team uh, with the licensing property for the Williams books. Um, and I think many people didn't really expect this to happen. Because of course there was the rumour that they were in negotiations for a David Williams IP to come into the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory ride and the whole Clark Clan section itself. However, there was a rumour that those negotiations fell through. So it seems like behind closed doors and behind the, the reports, Alton Towers managed to secure another deal um, that's been successful and been granted. So I'm guessing the first deal might not have gone through and then it went through eventually. Or maybe it didn't, maybe negotiations didn't fall through. Maybe the news reports were just saying that because they thought that's what it was. But in actual fact, Alton Towers have successfully applied the negotiations instead of the negotiations breaking down. So not sure what's going on over there. But what we now know is it is coming. The world of David Williams is coming to the park spring 2020. Uh, so we do have some details, some stats, some press release uh, statements from David Williams and the marketing director at Alton Towers, uh, which we're going to share with you now. So let's have a look at some details then on the world of David Williams. So they're keeping tight lips about what's been planned for the area. However, they've revealed that the world of David Williams will be centered around the park's existing Clark Cuckooland. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Clark Cuckooland was known by many names. Uh, it used to be uh, Talbot Street. And then it became a uh, land of make believe. Then, of course, from land of make believe, it became Cred Street. Then, from Cred Street, uh, from 2009, Cred Street became known as Cloud Cuckoo Land. Now, of course, we do know that they're promising a groundbreaking, unique headline attraction, alongside plenty more attractions and tributes across the theme park and and within the resort hotels. So, first of all, I'm just going to say. That the hotels part says to me that either going to do uh, characters in the hotel, its own hotel, so we could see a David Williams IP hotel, or we could see David Williams books themed rooms inside the hotel, or it could be all three, or it could be two out of three. That's just sort of my three best guesses with the hotels part. It'll be characters inside the current hotels, its own hotel, 
or rooms theme to the David Williams books inside the current hotels. So I think with David Williams books, I think my best guess is the Alton Towers Hotel, and then the characters could just pop in and out of the other, other hotels, Splash Landings, the CBB's Land Hotel, and the Enchanted Village. Um, now, David Williams actually said in a press statement, it's a huge thrill for some of my favourite characters to get to get their own attractions at Alton Towers, to be getting their own attractions at Alton Towers. I can't wait to experience them for myself and from all the work that's gone in, I think people are going to love it. All will be revealed next year. So this tells to me that we're going to see attraction reveals uh, next year in the winter season. Kind of like what we did with CBeebies on Alton Towers. They revealed it and then it was at the start of ne the following year. It was sort of the January sort of winter time when we got the announcement of the names for different attractions. I think that's what we're looking at here. We're looking at a repeat of CBB's Land uh, attraction reveal where they get revealed maybe one, so one or two attractions revealed every single week on the winter period or on that January, February month's time. Um, now, construction work has already begun, of course. Um, you guys know that House of Monsters, aka Wobble World, that's been put fences up around it, uh, ready for construction, Miller Magic Making is already on site. Uh, now, of course, they didn't say with the uh, major attraction, the unique headline attraction, where it's been located. And the two most, well, I won't say the two most talked about sites, but one of the main sites uh, is, of course, that House of Monsters Wobble World site. But another site that could house the unique headline attraction is Ice Age 4D. However, with that theatre still standing and doing nothing apart from being a backdrop to Frog Hopper, and with work already getting started inside the Wobble World House of Monsters building, it's pretty certain that that's going to be the site for the headline attraction. So, a bit of history for you on this attraction. Um, it used to be known as the Cred Street Playground, uh, this attraction. Um, obviously, it had some IPs to it as well. It had the Barney's Playground, then the following year it was the Tweenies Playground, and then... Um, just a year or two down the line, it was known as the Cred Street Playground. Right up until 2009 when Wobble World was introduced, it had the old play equipment for a couple of weeks, I believe, or a few weeks, and then they brought in the new play equipment for Wobble World. And then, of course, 2015, 2016, it was closed for the Towers Loving Care program. They brought in House of Monsters, a family scare maze for Scarefest. It wasn't returning this year, and we saw the construction fences for next year's new attractions. So, it's pretty much certain that we're going to see a brand new headline attraction in that building. Now, what it is, are we going to see a small dart ride system? We don't know. We, we literally don't know at this point. Uh, so, basically, it's shrouded in secrecy, uh, but from the theme park, said nearly 100 specialists from Alton Towers' creative team and external experts in the latest theme park technology are to get it ready for guests by 2020. It'll complement the existing CBeebies land for younger children. So, like, like we predicted all along, this area is going to be themed, in terms of the theme of the area and the whole look of the area, this is going to be the borderline between Thrill and Younger Child. So, Younger Child is CBeebies land. You've got your mid-children, which is like your K K Katanga Canyon, Moosey Bay, uh, and of course, this brand new David Williams area. Maybe that's a little bit under Katanga Canyon and Moosey Bay. Maybe on the same level as Moosey Bay. Again, we don't know. And then, you've got, of course, you've got the thrill level with the likes of Forbidden Valley, X Sector, and the Dark Forest. So, uh, it's good to see another mid-term age rating area for, from what we know. That's going to be on the same level as Katanga Canyon and, of course, uh, Mutiny Bay. Now, James Walker is the marketing director of Alton Towers Resort. And he said, we are delighted to be able to announce our partnership with David Williams on what will promise us to be a hugely exciting addition to Alton Towers Resort in 2020. David's books have really captured the imagination of Britain's children and their families. So it's a huge honour to be working with David on this fabulous collaboration for 2020, the year in which we celebrate our 40th birthday as the nation's favourite theme park. So that is basically all um, the details that we got from the articles. Uh, and other articles pretty much say the same thing. So what are my thoughts on this? Well. I said to you in the past that I'd love to see a Paddington area, but if the David Williams area came in, it'd be great as well. I'm happy about this area. I'm really excited about this development. Now, I haven't personally read the children's books, so I haven't read them yet, but uh, what I do know is uh, a friend of mine was in the, you know, the TV special for Billionaire Boy a few years ago. They had like a TV version of Billionaire Boy that was on BBC One a few years ago. A friend of mine was in that, 
uh, playing the main guy, Joe. Big shout out to uh, the actor, Elliot, if you're watching. Um, so I do have a bit of knowledge with David Williams' books as a TV version. Obviously there was the, I think it was Grandpa's Great Escape, some, something like that as well. Uh, and The Midnight Gang as well, there was a TV version of that recently. So, um, you know, I'm familiar with the TV versions of David Williams' books. Uh, so I've got some kind of knowledge, but not a whole lot of knowledge. But as a kid's area, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with this. I think they've got the real potential here to pull it off. Now, we, now we've got this sort of confirmation of what the theme is. We literally do not have a clue what this headline attraction is going to be. Some people say it could be like a small dart ride system, a trapped dart ride system. Uh, is this finally going to be the day we get the dark ride we've been waiting for since Subterra closed uh, and Charlie closed for the dungeons? Obviously, the dungeons is technically a dark ride, technically shows. Um, Subterra was a dark ride for Thrill Seekers that closed a few years ago and then it announced it won't be coming back this year. Um, well, this year it was announced it wasn't coming back at all, uh, but it closed a few years ago. So, you know, we haven't really had a. Uh, a proper current dart ride, a new dart ride. Um, if you sort of take away the dart rides that have closed and have sort of been SBNO and transformed into dungeons, etc., you know, the newest dart ride work, we, we, in terms of new dart ride work, is 2003. You know, uh, I'm not going to count CBB's on, but I mean, in terms of the other main part, 2003 with Jewel, uh, the transformation of the Haunted House. So, in terms of brand new dark ride systems we haven't seen a new one since the year 2000 and that's with hex so you know that's it, it, despite the fact you've got sub tarot that closed and stuff like that and all the cb on stuff apart from that if you if just including the main just the main park in, itself without the cb on all the closed attractions that's you know going to be 20 years without a new dark ride system uh leaning back up to hex like i said in the new millennium so you know, technically, Alton Towers have been waiting for that family dart ride. Like I said, we haven't had a real, fa a true family dart ride since Charlie closed uh, back in 2015. So, you know, it's definitely um, great. Five years without a new dart ride system is obviously quite a long wait for a dart ride. And I think Alton Towers could really invest in a new dart ride. Um, what type of dark ride would go in that space? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure how big the building is, but I just know it's a decent size. Uh, obviously, you have Wobble World, which is the play equipment, and of course, when that was all taken down as part of the Towers Loving Care program, you had that whole building to itself for the Scare Maze, the family Scare Maze House of Monsters, which of course isn't coming back this year. I don't think I'm going to be at Scarefest this year now. Uh, after doing York Maze Howler Scream, I'm looking at a couple of other little things as well. I might not be at Scarefest this year, so uh, that's put a bit, a bit of a doubt over the plans of Scarefest this year uh, for my visit. But if I'm not at Scarefest this year, I'll try and make it out for the opening day of the season next year, if I can. Fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, basically, I'm not too sure exactly on the size of the building for Wobble World House of Monsters, but it should be a decent size for a small tracked dart ride system, I think. I think there's a real potential here. I think... There's a real chance it could just be a walkthrough attraction, but I think they could do something pretty special with this. Now, in terms of other attractions in the area, um, pretty much the only idea that people have sort of come up with on forums and news websites and something that I picked up on from someone uh, on a forum is a Zamperla Air Race themed to Grandpa's Great Escape. Um, that would be a pretty cool... Uh, theme to go for for an air race, but of course Drake Manor have got an air race So you'd have to invest in like a super air race or something different to the traditional model over at Drayton Manor in Tamworth So you sort of yeah, you want to compete with your locals, but unfortunately Don't take this the wrong way Drayton Manor. I don't think you really compete with Alton Towers at the minute So they could put an air race in but that would make Drayton Manor even more obsolete So not really making much sense if they can find a different ride to theme to Grandpa's Great Escape, like uh, a Skyfly, because the nearest Gerslau Skyfly is down at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, but I know a lot, a lot of people aren't really big fans of those Skyfly attractions compared to the air races, just for the fact that you sort of have to spin it yourself and it gets harder and harder, and you sort of have to rely on the wind speed sometimes to get it going. Uh, whereas air races like a controlled spin, uh, so maybe that's 
sort of why, I guess. Um, I'm not too sure what else you could do really with this area in terms of brand new attractions because they have promised it's going to be new attractions but one main headline attraction which says to me we're going to see a dart ride and a few other attractions. Frog Hopper. Now is that going to stay? I, I personally think it won't. I think we're going to see a brand new attraction um, sort of in front of the out of control building like Frog Hopper used to be before it was moved over in front of the theatre. Um, the Cooker Cars Driving School, I'm expecting a re-theme of that. Not a replacement, but a re-theme of that. If it gets replaced, I'll be very surprised. Um, there's also a massive building that I've spoke about on numerous occasions opposite the Cooker Cars Driving School. Now, I believe that used to be a gift shop, but I'm not too sure what it's in that building now. I'm not sure if it's storage or an old arcade or just something. I'm not too sure what's in that building. It used to be a very long building. It was in the promo for the London Make Believe back in the 90s. I'm not too sure what it's in right now. Comment down below what's in that building. I'd like to know because, of course, that's quite a big building that could do a lot of space with. So, uh, you've got that. Obviously, you've got the theatre space and, of course, the Twirling Toadstool site as well, which I think could contain one of the main flat rides or, or one of the other sort of attractions in the area. I think they could use that Twilling Toadstool space to its advantage. Now, one big negative about the world of David Williams is the dungeons are nearby. So when creating this area, obviously they've created it behind the scenes by now. So we're just waiting on the concept arts being released. Hopefully we get that over the close season this year, uh, going into 2020. But I personally believe um, the one negative is you've got the dungeons with the bird kitchen sat right next to it. How are you going to sort of stylize the entrance of the area and sort of block off the area uh, so it doesn't feel like the dungeons are part of the area? Obviously, you can introduce entrance signs, themed walls, something like that. But there is still that possibility. There's still that uh, sort of thorn in your side of, oh, but we can still, you know, see the... Uh, obviously, you can't... You, you, you can still see the dungeon, you'll still be able to see the dungeon and stuff like that, but I sort of don't want like a clash of themes, if you know what I'm getting. It's kind of like back in 2012, when we got those rumours about changes to the Walt Disney Studios Park, and we sort of, you know, one of the options we were thinking about was a clash of themes, and it won't look anything from the original 2002 park design. Uh, so it'd be very unreal, like, unrealistic, and um, sort of the other option was sort of restructuring the park over a period of time, which is kind of what they're doing now, and sort of expanding it. Um, I don't want what that could have been, which is a clash of themes. So you've got a Dungeons theme clashing with the walls of a David Williams IP theme. Uh, now, of course, most people don't like IPs, I know that, but if I was to choose an IP over an original, this would be one of the ones I'd go for, as well as Paddington Bear. Um, so that's just sort of one main negative I take from this, just the fact that the dungeons are nearby, you're going to have to really stylize this area to make it look like, well, the dungeons are obsolete in its own little plaza, keep this area compacted in. So it's just one area and it's not like, you know, an area with the dungeons next to it. You know, we don't want the dungeons to be sort of uh, not part of it, if you know what I mean. But... There is an opportunity here um, with the Alton Towers dungeon to sort of theme it to one of the David Williams stories. I don't think it mentions a dungeon in a David Williams story. Comment down below if it does. Like I said, I haven't got much knowledge on the stories themselves and the ones that haven't been turned to TV adaptations. But if there's a, t if there's a David Williams book that includes a dungeon or some kind of cellar or somewhere where you held captive or something, that would be cool if they could sort of implement it with the area um, and sort of, oh, welcome to the Alton Towers dungeon, you know, uh, we here in the sto whatever story it is used to get held captive here now you can visit the characters and see what's left of what was there years ago and stuff like that. So they could implement it if they were going to include it, but I really doubt they're going to include the dungeons in this new area. So there we go, so that is the announcement and my thoughts on the world of David Williams coming to the park for the 2020 season. From the sounds of it, with, this, with the announcement date of spring 2020 for an opening, um, it seems like they're going to get it ready for the start of the season, for the opening weekend. So I will try my best to use... I, can't, I, can't, I don't know where it's gone, it's in this box somewhere. Ah, here we go. Here we go. 
So I've got one of these, if I can get it out. I know it's an old twirl wrapper, but it's got a free voucher on it. So that expires on the 31st of July, 2020. So I want to try and use that voucher for the opening day of the season uh, on that on that opening weekend. I want to try and use it for that opening weekend. So I'll try my best to get out of there for the opening weekend next year. Uh, if it is going to open on the opening weekend, fingers crossed it does. Um, or if there's any like press events or anything like that that I can attend or something, uh, then I'll try my best to get out to the new area when it's open. But thank you very much for watching this theme park news from update from the world of David Williams at Alton Towers Resort. It's going to feel weird not saying Cloud Cuckoo Land anymore. I might actually do a Close But Not Forgotten episode on the Cloud Cuckoo Land. Now we know it's going for sure. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for that if it ever comes out over the winter period. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment your thoughts and theories down below. And subscribe to the channel by clicking the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling video. And for now guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep living the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. I'm an awesome day, my friends.